Hi guys. It's Lisa. Today. Hang on here. There you go. Today. I am going to do a uh, bottle bottom pour. And it's just going to be three colors. Uh, red, black, and white. I was just going to do a black and white one. But I chose to add red because uh, because of red. Red is awesome. So So this is the bottom of a pot bottle that I cut off. The last one that I did, my paints were way too thin, so it ended up just being a crazy colorful pour. I put it in the middle. I've already put a base coat of white on the whole thing. So I am using Artist Loft Black today. Artist Loft White and Artist Loft Red. start with black I'm sure my canvas is not level so in a few minutes I'll know which way it's going <laughs> by the white, it's going to turn it pinkish. If I put it by the gray, it's going to turn it, hopefully it's thick enough that it'll stay white and red. When you're doing this kind of pour, you kind of want it to be a little on the thicker side. In my opinion, I could be wrong. It happens every once in a while. But don't tell my husband, because he thinks I'm right all the time. So I'm just alternating these colors. I did a thicker lines and now I'm going to do like thinner lines. Sometimes if they go in the middle, they don't go down evenly. So if you're new to my channel, thank you very much for stopping by. And please subscribe. And give me a thumbs up. If you're already a subscriber, thank you very much for coming back and for subscribing. I work with acrylics, resin, black, red. 
probably just do one more pass. Oops, it just stripped. I hope it dripped in the red. I think I got lucky and it did. So I haven't posted in a couple days because I've been feeling like crap because uh, I had pretty nasty migraine headache. When I get them, well, I have them every day, but some are worse than others. All right. Hmm. Should I do one more? I think I'll go one more. So today I did a couple small videos and I recorded my giveaway. So check out that video. I'm going to be doing a giveaway when I reach 500 subscribers. So check out that video to uh, see the rules. Alright, so I started it off with black, but it's kind of gone. All right, I'll finish it off with black and then we will move it around just a bit. It's coming over the edge on this side. So my canvas is obviously tilted. It's okay, because I'm gonna send it over the canvas on that side too. So wait a second, let that go down. Hmm. You know what? I think I'm going to end it with red. I know I just said I was going to end it with black, but these. I clean my bottles off when I'm done. All right. So when you lift this up, you don't really want to drip anything to kind of put your hand underneath it. and then put it off. Ooh, look at the pretty cells in the middle. It's kind of cool. It's coming off the edge here too. So it looks like I'll have to bring it off the edge on all sides. I'm gonna give it a little torch, get rid of the bubbles. bring up some cells. I think my red had some silicone in it. Alright, I'm going to give it a little tilt here. Bring it to the middle. Just going to go real slow. Let it run over the edge and bring it back to the middle again. Now I'm going to let it run over this edge. Super slow. Patience is a virtue. Also something I don't have. Bring 
it back to the middle. Hmm. Let me see how much paint is on this canvas. cells to come over into the middle area too. Yummy. Flow trawl boog. If I mix this around a bit. Okay, so I am going to have to dump some of this paint off. Um. Because it'll never dry with it being that that much. I hate to have to do this, but I do have to do it. So we'll just go. This way first. You always want to bring it back to the middle. Or changing directions otherwise you'll lose your design we're gonna dump some this way come back to the middle and stretching out your design like this too also helps you get cells I feel like taking it over those edges, but I really kind of like the white negative space that's in it. I do have to bring it back this way a little bit though. Okay, better. All right, I'll give it a little torch and then bring you in on a close-up. Oop. Look at all them little white cells that are popping. This is going to change for probably the next hour. Voila. I think it looks pretty cool. Kind of wish there's a little bit more black in it, but it's good. 
let me take you off the tripod here. Hang on. Okay. Yeah, this is going to see the cells that are developing. I think the red had silicone in it, but I don't have it marked as it had in silicone, so it might just be the Floetrol. The black coming up through. Kind of got that cool shading. I like that. All right, so my paint consistency was pretty perfect for this. The middle I might embellish once it dries. I might put some crystals in it or some stones or something. So yeah. Edge looks pretty cool. Well, there you have it, guys. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Uh, if you're new, please subscribe. And uh, go over and check out my uh, giveaway video. I just posted it tonight, I believe. So, uh, thank you all very much. And uh, I'm glad to be back. Because, like I've said, this is my best medicine. So when I'm feeling really crappy, I'll come down here and play. So thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you soon. Goodbye.